What's up sports fans? This is the Lucas Ross Sports Channel. We continue here with our 2023 college football predictions for the 2023 college football season. Up next are the Rutgers Scarlet Knights, a team coming off a 4-8 season in 2022. It wasn't a disappointing season for the Rutgers. This was not a you know, team that was really good last year, but it wasn't a disappointing season. It's exactly how I predicted it. It will go. Um, I predicted this team to go 4-8 and eight last year in 2022. Um, it was a tough season for Rutgers, but the obvious um, reason is that because of the schedule. The schedule is obviously tough every year for this Rutgers team. But they went 4-8 and eight last year. My thoughts on them in 2023, it's kind of hard to tell how good this team is going to be, how competitive they're going to be, because they do play in the Big Ten. I mean, they do have a tough schedule every year because they are in the Big Ten East. Look at the schedule this year. They'll play Temple, Virginia Tech, and Wagner in the non-conference. You got a pretty favorable non-conference schedule with Temple, Virginia Tech, and Wagner all at home. Uh, Virginia Tech, I kind of expect that one to be their toughest non-conference game. And then, of course, out of the Big Ten West, or actually out of the Big Ten East, they'll play Northwestern to begin the season on September 2nd. Then they'll play Wisconsin on the road on October 7th. And they'll also play Iowa on the road. So you're talking about two tough road games there outside the Big Ten West with Wisconsin and Iowa. So this is a, still a pretty tough schedule because they do play Michigan, Ohio State, and Penn State on the schedule. And they do have to play the Wolverines and Nittany Lions both on the road. So this schedule is brutal this year for the Rutgers. But let's go game by game now and give you an official prediction for this Rutgers team. And they kick things off here on September 2nd with Northwestern at home. Uh, this is a home game for Rutgers. I think both of these teams are pretty even in competitiveness you know, on their rosters. But... I do have a lot of concerns now for Northwestern heading into this year due to, you know, the firing of Pat Fitzgerald. I won't get into that stuff with what happened for the program, but I think this program is now heading into a disastrous season. I think the Rutgers will win this one pretty easily. I think that, um, I said um, earlier way before Pat Fitzgerald was fired that this was going to be a close game, but this year I really don't see it now being a close game. I think Rutgers playing at home will get it done here and open up 1-0 in 2023. Then it's Temple at home and on set to the night. Temple is a team that is a – Group of five team, but they haven't really been good over the years that I've been seeing them. Uh, they've, you know, just not been a good team overall. The Rutgers are at home playing in this game against Temple on September the 9th. Uh, we could expect a close game here, but I think the Rutgers will win this one pretty easily. A uh, place they're playing at home here, and I think they are the better team here. And I think Rutgers start out 2-0 with two wins here in the month of September. Then they'll play Virginia Tech at home here on September 16th. Uh, Virginia Tech's got a lot of question marks. They're kind of similar to Northwestern. A lot of question marks on both sides of the football. Offensively, they look pretty strong on that side of the football. Defensively is where I'm concerned about. But I think overall these two teams are pretty even. Not a returning production, but, you know, I think overall talent-wise because Virginia Tech had a terrible season last year. And I think Rutgers playing at home will get it done here. I think this is a close game throughout the fourth quarter. But I do like Rutgers here at home. And I got Rutgers starting out 3-0. and And this is where the schedule kind of gets tough for them. They'll play Michigan on the road here on September 23rd. Uh, they're undefeated going into this game. We saw last year in the first half Rutgers competed, but... Michigan ended up pulling away in the second half. I think this Michigan team has just way too much talent. I think the Rutgers won't win or actually not really get close with the Wolverines. And I think Rutgers lose their first game of the season here on the road at Michigan. That game is not going to be even close. Michigan has got way too much talent. But then the Rutgers take care of business against Wagner on September the 30th. So I got Rutgers now improving to 4-1. They get to the month of October. They'll play Wisconsin here on the road on October 7th. Wisconsin's going to be having a new coach this year with Luke Fickle. This team's got a lot of talent on both sides of the football. They brought in some transfers to help them out. This is going to be a really good Wisconsin team. I think the Rutgers will compete in the first half in this one, but second half, I think the Badgers will pull away. And I got Wisconsin winning this one pretty easily over the Rutgers. So I got Rutgers losing their second game here on the road at Wisconsin. I know fans won't agree with um, that one being a close game in the first half, but I think Rutgers will be competitive in this game. I think they can really keep it competitive. I think the second half, the Badgers will pull away. Next game at home against Michigan State on October 14th. I think the Rutgers have a really good shot to pull off an upset here. Uh, you look at Michigan State's roster now, it's kind of a bit concerning because they lost Peyton Thorne at quarterback, and they obviously lost their top running back as well. So there's a lot of question marks for this Michigan State team. I'm not really concerned, though, still about Michigan State, but, you know, there is a lot of concern for Michigan State fans are kind of concerned about the loss of Peyton Thorne. But 
I think the Rutgers will keep this game close, but I think in the second half the Spartans will pull away. I think this is still a talented Michigan State team, and I think the Spartans do get it done here and give Rutgers their third loss of the season. So I got Rutgers now falling to 4-3. and three. Then it's Indiana on the road here on October 21st. Both teams are pretty even in this matchup. Indiana, I think, is going to be more competitive than they were last year. Um, it wasn't really a good season last year for both of these teams. Uh, it's just been a rough couple last years for both of these teams as well. Indiana, I think, has been the better team, but Indiana went 2-10 in 2021. Rutgers have, you know, won more games in the Big Ten than they have, you know, been in the last couple years, but... This is a tough one. This is a tough one to call. But that being said, being on the road at Indiana and obviously a 50-50 game, the Hoosers do have home field advantage. And I think they give um, Rutgers their fourth loss of the season. So I think Rutgers will lose a close one here on the road at Indiana. That puts their fourth loss of the season. And that puts their record at 4-4. Four and four. They get a bye week after that Indiana game. They get to the month of November. They'll play the Buckeyes here of Ohio State on November 4th. Uh, this is a home game for the Rutgers. They get a bye week before playing this game, but let's be honest, I really don't see the Rutgers having any shot in this game. I really don't think the Ohio State Buckeyes are going to go into this game, you know, thinking over them. And I think the Buckeyes will be ready. I think um, Ohio State will win this one pretty easily. I know it's a home game for the Rutgers, but it's not really a tough place to play here for Ohio State. So I think the Buckeyes win pretty easily here, and that puts Rutgers' record at 4-5. and five. Then they'll play Iowa on the road here on November 11th. I think Iowa's going to struggle offensively this year. I know they got Cade McNamara coming in, um, the transfer from Michigan to help them out. But I think offensively this will be a low-scoring type game here against this Rutgers offense. Uh, defensively is what's going to really keep Rutgers off the board. I think the Iowa Hug guys are really talented on that side of the football, even though they lost a lot of production from that side of the football last year. I think Iowa will win it here. I think it's a really tough place to play as well for the Rutgers. So I got the Rutgers fin um, in, are actually falling to 4-6. and six for 2023. Next game on the road at Penn State. So you got back-to-back -back road games here with Iowa and Penn State. Tough back-to-back -back road games here um, against Iowa and Penn State. I really don't see Rutgers having a really big opportunity here to knock off Penn State on the road. I don't think it will be enough. I think Rutgers do lose this one pretty big. I think this is probably the third game they get blown out in. They get blown out by Michigan and Ohio State and now Penn State here. I don't think the Iowa game is a blowout. I think it's going to be a low-scoring type game. I think Rutgers will lose here in a blowout to Penn State on the road. That puts their record at 4-7. and seven. Then they'll play Maryland here to end things out on November 25th. Uh, Maryland's going to have a pretty good offense. Um, they're going to be, I don't think they're going to be really explosive. They're going to want to run the football as well. I think they're going to be focused on the passing game. I think this is what's going to catch the Rutgers defense off guard. Uh, Talia Tagovailoa, I think, is a definitely a talented quarterback. I think it's going to be too much here for the Rutgers to handle. First half, I think it probably will be close, but I think second half, the Terrapins will pull away, and I think they give Rutgers their eighth loss of the season. So I got Rutgers losing to Maryland here to end things out here for the 2023 season, and I got Rutgers finishing 4-8 for 2023. I mean, it's a reasonable prediction. Let's be honest. Rutgers, it's hard to tell how good this team is going to be. I think the Indiana game, if they win that one, this team could go 5-7. and seven. But if they do beat Michigan State as well, this team can go 6-6 six and six because Michigan State now has a lot of question marks. Um, you know, if they beat Michigan State at home, maybe Maryland at home, this team can go to a bowl game this year. But I just don't really see that happening. I think the Rutgers are definitely in the toughest, um, you know, division in the Big Ten. It's hard to tell how good this team is going to be. So give me your thoughts on this Rutgers team down in the comments below. My prediction for them is 4-8 for 2023. What is your prediction for them? And let me know down in the comments below. And stay tuned here for more sports content videos on my Lucas Ross Sports Channel.